Hey class, this video is on translations. Um, I'll be kind of going fast through this video, so if I'm going too fast, just make sure that you pause it. There are certain things I've already drawn or highlighted, so as we go on, just pause it again. Um, so let's talk about what is a translation. Translation essentially is just shifting an object. It can be points, lines, shapes, and typically, uh, for the most part, we're going to work on, on a coordinate plane. Um, so right here, we, here's a mapping diagram of what a translation looks like. Um, in order for it to distinguish this between other transformations, you're always going to see a T here to indicate translation. Our pre-image. And then we're going to have an arrow pointing to our image. Now what these things in yellow and orange make, um, in, in yellow X plus A, this part just shifts the image or pre-image up. Oh, sorry. This should sit left or right. Right, because when you graph a coordinate, typically you're moving on the x-axis, which is uh, left and right, and y plus b, and this is going to be, you're shifting it either up or down. So if it's positive, you're going to shift it up. If it's negative, you're going to shift it down. Um, and these things, a and b, uh, they're just numbers. So we're not going to typically see a and b there. All right, so we're going to have four examples, some that require um, a coordinate, some that just have a graph. So first one is we, that we have a graph. This is saying shift five units down. So how that looks like on a mapping diagram is we see T, X, Y goes to X, comma, Y minus five. This Y minus five part, since that's in the Y part, right, that's going to be shifting it vertically. And since it is um, negative, this means it's going to be shift five units down. Now, off to the right, we have a triangle. We have A, B, C, D for the points. Um, so go ahead and draw that as we're working this out. And how we do this is just pick every single point and move it down five. So I'm gonna start with A. So A, I'm just gonna, from that point, I'm just gonna count down five. So here, one, two, three, four, five. So A is now right here, but I'm gonna, Label that as A with a one, which is A prime. All right, let's go to the next one. So B, one, two, three, four, five. So this point is B prime. So now let's go to C, one, two, three, four, five. That's C prime, and then D prime will go right here. And after I have all my points, I'm just gonna go ahead and connect the dots here. Yeah, I'll shade it in. So that's what this translation means. Just move everything down five. It's not too hard. Um, pretty simple transformation. All right. Uh, example two is that we have the coordinate two comma seven. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna shift that down three units. Um, now how we do that in a mapping diagram or algebraically is I have the mapping. So this is a mapping. Uh, we have the coordinate two comma seven. And how we plug this in is I'm gonna rewrite Rewrite this in our image. Understanding that two is X and seven is Y. So I'm gonna plug those into this. So instead of writing X minus three, since X is two, I'm gonna put two minus three. And Y is seven, so I just plug in a seven there. Now for this, there is some simplifying that's going to be involved, right, in the X portion. Two minus three is negative, or sorry, yeah, two minus three is negative one. And this is seven. So our coordinate, if we shift this down three units, it is at the coordinate, or sorry, left three units, um, it is at the coordinate negative one, seven. Now, how I can try to figure that out if, you know, besides this to prove it. So let's graph the point two, seven. So that's two to the right, seven up. So you don't have to draw this. I'm just going to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the point's right here. If I were to move this three units to the left, Right, so let's just count, understanding we have units here. So one, two, three. So that's our point right there. That is at the coordinate negative one, seven. All right. Um, third example is, is we're gonna prove this using both the graph and also our mappings here. Um, this is going to say that we're gonna move this triangle RST uh, four units to the right. So that's why I've, I've highlighted that in yellow. So you can know that those two things, X plus four and four units to the right means the same thing. 
and five units up. So that is represented by putting y plus five. Okay. So first I'm gonna do it over here. So I've already written out the coordinates for r, s, t. So r is negative two comma negative two. S is one negative two and T is negative two, negative four. So in our image, we have X plus four and Y plus five. Uh, I'm gonna write that, but again, I'm gonna replace X and Y. So here, I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna put a plus four in all these X parts because of X plus four. We'll plug in the X part later. And here, Y plus five, I'm gonna put in the plus five right now. And again, we'll plug in these values later. So let's start with r. So r is negative 2, negative 2. So I'm going to put negative 2 in for x and also negative 2 in for y because that was my y value. And we simplify this. So negative 2 comma or negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2 and negative 2 plus 5 is a positive 3. So where r prime is, r prime where R goes is at the coordinate two, three. So starting at the origin, we go two to the right and three up. I'm just gonna put R prime. All right, this next coordinate S, which is one negative two. So put a one for X, negative two in for Y. Let's simplify. Um, one plus four is five and negative two plus five is three. So where S prime is, is at five, negative three. So five to the right, one, two, three, four, five three up so you have s prime here and let's get to the last one that is negative two four negative four uh, this will be at two comma one that's two right one up and that is t prime so let's connect all the points this is I'll put this in blue all right so we get the same thing or the same object, right? It didn't change shape, didn't change size, it's congruence. Um, so let's actually prove why this is right. So I'm gonna move these points five, four units right, five units up. Let's see if we get to the right point. So I'll just do this with R. So four units to the right. One, two, three, four, five units up. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we get R prime. So all of these points, they're in the same um, position, just translate it in a different direction. All right, that's pretty much it. You just plug it in there. And let's get to one last one on the back. Uh, we're just gonna change in two different directions. So we have um, shift six units right. That is represented by X plus six. And five units down, that is Y minus five. Okay. So here, let's go ahead and put in, and put plus six and minus five. Let's plug in these values for X and Y which is more, more practice. Um, we're gonna have nine in for X and negative three in for Y. Let's simplify this. Okay, nine plus six is 15 and negative three minus five is negative eight. All right guys, that's pretty much it. We get from our pre-image to our image, shifting six units right and five units down. All right guys, let me know if you guys got any questions. See ya, bye.